everybody, it's me again, and today I have a Love with Food box to unbox. So excited because you know I love food. And last time I did my Love with Food unboxing for the um, Brighten Up My Day box, I had a huge edit in the middle, and the whole reason why was because I didn't have a drink, and I was eating a lot of dry stuff, and I was coughing a lot, so I had a huge edit in the middle of that. So this time I have my drink to make sure that I can taste everything in here without dying um, from, you know, choking on things. So, let's get started. This month's theme is, baby, it's cold outside. And, unfortunately, it's not cold outside here in Florida. It is still hot as balls. Um, but, I think everything in here is going to be related to winter time. So, I am very, very excited. And this is a little pamphlet this month with all the foodie goodies inside. And we're just going to, we don't need that. Um, give your loved one a Love With Food snack subscription this holiday. Oh, that's a great gift idea. Give somebody Love With Food if they like food. I know I like food. Uh, first thing we have in here is like Hai, I think that's how you say it, red rice crackers. They're made with rice, oil, salt, and nothing else. 100 calorie pack. And you know me, I have to eat everything in this box. I just had dinner, so I won't be eating this entire box right now. But I will try these. They look kind of like, um, when I first looked in the package, they look like um, Triscuits. But they don't really look like Triscuits now that I took it out. It looks like brown rice. Is it brown rice? Where's the ingredients? Whole grain red rice sustainably farmed palm oil and sea salt so hmm. all naturally gluten-free vegan allergen friendly 100 percent guilt-free whole grain goodness these are very good they do taste like rice they taste like salted rice in cracker form those are very good i like these so that's the first thing. The second thing we have, there's two of them, and I'm in Florida, so these are melted. I will have to um, refrigerate these before I eat them. Uh, Groupies Gourmet Milk Chocolate Peanut Clusters. And they are liquid inside because it is so hot here still. I got two of those, so unfortunately I won't be able to eat these on camera for you because otherwise I'd be like licking the package and that would just be kind of weird. So I got two of those. Awesome. Are they the same? Are they both peanut clusters? Yeah. Both peanut clusters. Next thing we have soft dried mini figs. Fruit bliss. Preservative and natural figs. Now as much of a foodie as I am, other than fig newtons, I have never had a fig. <clears throat> so you will get to see me eat a fig on camera for the first time in my entire life because I've never eaten a fig before. And I was never a fan of Fig Newtons, and I don't know if it was the fig flavor or if it was the, I'm gonna grab my scissors. I don't know if it was the fig flavor or the um, the Newton part, I guess you would call it, the, the, the cookie part. Oh, those look kind of weird. That's what the figs look like. They're like gooey, smooshy, gooey, smooshy, figgy things. And there's like a stem on it, so I don't want to eat the stem, but if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it right. I'm going to stick the whole thing in my mouth, okay? Mmm. It's got crunchy seeds in the middle. That's really good. Well, I guess I like figs. Those are very good. Hmm. Take a drink so I don't choke. Okay. I don't know what to grab next because everything looks so good. Um, how about these? More chocolate that is melted. Um, Belgian chocolate milk truffles. Which, you want to see how um, melted these are? They are very melted. 
Um, so I got a milk truffle and I got a dark praline truffle, which are probably not truffles anymore because they're so melted. So again, I will put these in the fridge and I will eat those later. The next thing we have is a soft baked biscotti in midnight dark chocolate espresso. <gasps> oh my gosh, that sounds so good. Zero trans fat. Uh, by Marlowe's Bake Shop. Sweet. This will go great with that dark rose coffee I just got from Keurig. Awesome. I don't know if I want to eat this or if I want to save it for my coffee. But then I will disappoint you if I don't eat it on camera. I'll take a little nibble. little nibble. Just to make sure that it's, you know, good. Just squeeze that out a bit. So, this is very good, and I'm guessing the reason they put this in the box for the winter is because it goes great with coffee or hot chocolate, and it is very delicious. Mm. That is very good. My mom makes biscottis. I love biscottis. Um, the next thing we have is Dick and Jane Baking Company. Education in every bite. Smart educational snacks. Uh, they are states and capitals, but I don't know what exactly it is. Cookies, maybe? All natural, nut free vanilla snack. So I'm guessing they're cookies, but that's really cool. Each cookie's gonna have a state with the capital on it. Look, there's Florida! I'm there, not in Tallahassee. I'm like, I'm down here at the bottom. I'm in South Florida. That's so cute. I like their little background story too. Meet Dick and Jane on the back and it says, Dick is a longtime entrepreneur who often volunteers to coach parks and recreation teams. Jane is an elementary school teacher with a keen interest in diet, nutrition, and exercise. One of our goals is to adopt a thousand classrooms. Wow. So not only is this a educational treat, but it's got a great background story for how the company, you know, does their thing. So that's pretty cool. Let's try one of these. Let's see, what did I get? West Virginia, capital is Charleston. That is so cute. It's got a little picture of West Virginia and a little star where uh, Charleston is. Let's see how good Charleston tastes. Mmm, broken half. They're just little vanilla cookies, and they're very cute. Oh, I found a Florida one. Represent. Florida, represent. Woo! Those are very good. These are a great snack to throw in with your kids' lunches, too. Very cute. So, got those. I got... Oh, there's two more things in here, I think. Gourmet tortilla chips. Chips Happen is the name of the brand. Sin of, sinful Sweet Heat. I'm not sure what that means. Sinful Sweet Heat. Probably sweet and spicy. Let's see. Ingredients. Non-GMO white corn, rice bran oil, water, evaporated cane sugar, cinnamon, cayenne, and a trace of lime. So I'm guessing that the heat is from the cayenne. Non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, and has rice bran oil. All right, let's try these chips happen. I can't, oh my God, I can't open things today. I'm like special when it comes to opening things, apparently. All right, so we'll grab this one. So this is what they look like, little cinnamon sugar chippies. Very crunchy, very cinnamon sugary, and there's the heat. It's a it's a very sub sub subtile, subtle, a very light heat that you get from them. Not overpowering at all. Very interesting flavor combination. 
I like these. These are good. And trust me, if I don't like something, I will tell you I don't like it. I like pretty much everything, though, so that's a problem. Those are very good. But they do have a little kick to them. And the last thing I got in here... Ooh. Um, the last thing I got in here, food-wise, is Whole Spice Napa Valley All-Purpose all Salt Seasoning. And it's in a little brown uh, envelope thingy. And it's got a recipe on the back. Baked sweet potatoes. All you need is sweet potatoes, olive oil, and this seasoning. And you can have some delicious sweet potatoes. That's really nice that they put the little recipe on the back. What's inside? Sea salt, sugar, celery, chili, excuse me, chili, onion, turmeric, garlic, black pepper, oregano, and citric acid. Very cool. I can't wait to try this. I love seasoning mixes. Because most of the time, they include seasonings together that I, when I'm cooking, wouldn't think of putting together. So, like, baked, pot baked sweet potatoes, I wouldn't think of putting sugar or turmeric on my sweet potatoes. But this combination is probably really, really good. So I'm excited to try this. And in the box at the bottom, besides it says, yum, 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 still hungry, at the bottom of the box, they throw in coupons and things like that. So what did we get this time? La Tote Netflix for Women's Fashion $25 gift card. Very cool. I gotta check that out. That's really strange, too. Women's Fashion with a food box? But I like that. 10% uh, off of your uh, Gylian chocolates, the little chocolates that I got that are melted, these ones. I got 10% coupon off of those. Sweet. And, oh, look! It's a little Everyday Rachel Ray book. I love Rachel Ray. Oh my gosh, it's got recipes. It's a recipe book of, let me, let me find you a good one. Let me find, oh, this one looks good. Look at this. Yummy. And it's got recipes. These are all 30 minute meals. And it's a whole booklet of 30 minute meals. How many pages are in here? There's like 70 pages in here, guys. That is, I love this edition. Love with food, this is awesome. This is so great. I love this. This box was fantastic. Whoever curated it, mad kudos to the curators of this box. Great choices. One thing I am missing that I really, really was hoping to get was hot chocolate. I'm hoping that'll be in December's box because even though I'm in Florida, it still gets a little chilly here and I love a good hot chocolate. So a good, um, like a dairy-free hot chocolate or, you know, since it's got to be healthy, um, dairy-free hot chocolate or gluten-free hot chocolate, stuff like that. I think that would be great in December's box. So everything that I got in this month's box is absolutely delicious. I will probably order some more of these snacks on lovewithfood.com. Um, if you're interested to sign up with Love With Food, I will give you the link down below. It is a referral link, disclaimer. Um, it is $10 a month for the tasting box, which is what I get. And it's this big. And you get all the snacks in it. And it's curated each month under a theme. And $10 a month. And every time you get a box, Love With Food donates food to their hungry children organizations that they donate to. So I think that's a fantastic, fantastic thing to support. Not only are you getting delicious, healthy foods, but you're helping to feed a hungry child as well. Um, and overall, I have loved nearly everything they have put in these boxes. They do great curations. Their food is phenomenal. And... 90% of the time, it's brands I've never heard of or never even thought of looking at in a store. This box, 100%, never heard of any of these companies, but everything is delicious. So it's a great way for you to try new things and broaden your horizons and 
when it comes to food. Um, and it's healthy for you. So, like, with people like me, when I eat the entire box in one sitting, I don't feel very guilty about it. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook, Rixie Pixie Reviews, Instagram and Twitter, Rixie Pixie. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.